Hey, and just a quick note, this brings us to the end of our section on pivot tables. If you want to learn more about pivot tables, I have to recommend this book by Mike Alexander and I. It's called Pivot Table Data Crunching. It is the best-selling book in the world about pivot tables. Uh, it's available at Barnes & Noble, Borders, Amazon, and of course from Mr. Excel. Highly recommended. It covers every single example, everything you can do in pivot tables. Check it out. Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill John. Well, we've been talking about pivot tables for the past couple of weeks, and I've never taken a look at the pivot chart feature. If we look at the data menu, it actually says pivot table and pivot chart report. And for all these podcasts, we've been creating tables. Let's take a look at what a pivot chart is. Most importantly, in step one, we want to choose the pivot chart report instead of a pivot table. In step two, our data is usually right. In step three, I want to go to the layout feature just because it's easier for me to create the pivot chart in the comfortable pivot table format instead of trying to drag and drop to the chart. So we want to have, let's say, revenue as the main data item in the chart. Going across the bottom of the chart, I'd like to have dates. And so while it's counterintuitive, that needs to go down the row area. And then let's say um, the stacked bars would have different products. Um, finally, we want to be able to create a chart for each different region. So I'll put that in the page field. So we have dates going down the side, which in a pivot chart will actually be along the x-axis. We have products going across the top, which in the chart will be components in the stack bar. Sum of revenue will be the actual bars, and then we'll have a page drop down for region. Click OK, click Finish, and you'll see that we actually get two new sheets. One sheet is the pivot table, the other one is the pivot chart. Now if I drag the field list out of the way, you'll see that we have the three different products stacked up for January, February, March, April, and at the top we have a region drop down. I can create this chart just for the east region, or the central region, or the west region, whichever I need to do. It's also possible, once we have the pivot chart, to take fields in and out. So if I want to take the product field off, I'll get just total revenue. If I want to take the customer field on, of course, it's going to be way too, too much data. Horrible looking chart, but you get the concept. That's pivot charting. It's been around since the second incarnation of pivot tables back in Excel 97, they added this. Kind of a cool feature. It's a little quirky. Like I said, sometimes you need to think about the right place to drop the various fields. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.